You go bow for the result, oh. Nothing to discuss, oh. Cause I take my wife without any doubt, any doubt, oh. I'm a me, I be a doubt, oh. I don't feel that you're gone. I don't go feel that you're exalt, oh. I'm a mind that's you talk, oh. I put my life into my job and I know I'm in trouble. Mm, no filter needed, no filter necessary. What? What? Are you seeing me right now? Are you seeing me? This is the proof, you better watch the whole video. Some people, them envy you. Follow you on Insta just to free you. The way that will chat rubbish, chat rubbish. The way that will spoil your name behind you. You buy one thing, then you won't buy two. Unless making sure that they're better than you. But that's you, they do me, but go do you. You cannot kill my joy. No more. Okay, what's up beautiful people, it's your girl Inkaboo, be back again with another video. Today we're going to be doing my updated makeup routine. Okay, so I've tweaked a couple of things in my makeup routine. Like, things are forever changing. I do something new every day if I'm being completely honest. But, the gist of it is the same. So in this video, I'm going to go in detail about how to do your eyebrows properly, what to avoid when doing your makeup, just colors that work best on dark skins or dark complexions, and just tips and tricks to help you figure out what's going to work for you because everybody's face is different. I always drop insightful information in each and every one of these makeup videos so just know i'm gonna come through this one to talk through i'm not really going anywhere but once my face is done i'm probably gonna find somewhere to be so before we actually start the routine just do me a favor and like this video and then like if you haven't subscribed already subscribe that'd be great that would, that would actually be great i appreciate it i appreciate you one love okay yeah let's get into it i think it's pretty clear when it comes to your makeup one of the most important things is your skin underneath so I got some pimple action going on over here to be honest because of the way my skin was looking I'm thinking okay let me just postpone the video but realistically my skin doesn't always look perfect so I just feel like now is an okay time to do the video anyways but I'm gonna I'm still gonna make this disappear you're not even gonna notice it you're not gonna notice this and you're not gonna notice that by the end of it this is kind of cute we might leave it Skin, skincare, we're just gonna moisturize because that's as much as I gotta do right now. And I'm using the Pond Dry Skin Cream, it is really moisturizing. I thought this I thought this cream was expensive when I seen other influencers using it, so I never actually went to go look for it, but it's only like five dollars. It was only five dollars at Walmart and I got two. When I'm moisturizing my face, I like to focus underneath my eyes just to make sure that when I'm putting on concealer it doesn't dry out too much. Okay, so I'm also gonna be taking my um Lenny Lenny, this thing, honestly it's worth it too, it's $25, this thing keeps my lips so moisturized, I love it so much. So everything is moisturized and ready to go, uh, let's get into the actual makeup. Let's finally start painting our face, oh, I lied, we're not painting our face yet. Before we start painting our face, see I make this mistake and I feel it every single time I go out. I'll be in the middle of the club and I'll be like, oh, I forgot to put on primer just to avoid that mishap just to avoid that if you want your makeup to last all day make sure you use a good primer okay so i'm going to be using this um i really wanted to grip right so i'm going to be using the milk hydro grip primer but i'm also going to be using another primer by milk by milk and it is the pore eclipse mattifying primer i use the milk one the hydro grip on my cheeks my chin and my forehead i have a really oily t-zone so we're just gonna use the mattifying one on my nose the bridge of my nose right here the sides and then a little bit oh, I look like i'm putting it on the and then a little bit onto my cheeks right here because th this area gets really oily so i just want to mattify that area so use whatever i know like people like to promote um, their favorite um, primers but use what works for you if you have oily skin you should be combating that with a mattifying primer rather than using a hydro primer that's only gonna make your skin wear more oily after we've primed and everything it's now time to move on to the eyebrows I start off with my eyebrows so for my eyebrows I like to use the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade black and just a regular brown eyebrow pencil pull that up too. I like to do like a Nigerian style eyebrow, Nigerian makeup eyebrow. I try my best to mimic it in the best way possible. First of course I'm just combing up my eyebrows. Um, 
you can use a little bit of gel if your eyebrows are fighting you back but um, I like to start off with an outline with the black eyebrow pencil just a line against the bottom that is the bottom looks kind of scary right now I'm just gonna fill in anywhere that I feel like is weak so like right here for example there's a gap I'm just gonna fill it in with like some strokes same with the other side this is missing something so we're gonna fill it in with that That's how I fill in my eyebrow. And then you see the bottom line that I did with the black? I'm just gonna blend it out with a spoolie. So it's not as harsh in the front. But I still want there to be some kind of line there. See what I mean? But yeah. That's it. Not too much on the brows, okay? Not too much. We like to do feathered, feathered brows, you know, nice, calm brows. We don't want our eyebrows to be yelling. We want it to be calm. You guys want soft life? Do soft brow. Okay, now moving on to concealer. So to conceal my eyebrows, I like to use two shades. But I like to use the Tarte um, Creases Concealer. This is in the shade Rich Honey. And then also the Born This Way um, Concealer in the shade Maple. with a flat brush like this and I'm just gonna conceal underneath my eyebrows with the darker oh sorry I forgot to explain the reason why I'm using two different concealer shades this is a concealer shade that I would say is maybe two to three shit I'm not careful like three shades lighter than my complexion this is like four to five shades lighter than my complexion and we're gonna use that for the tail of the eyebrow Now this concealer process, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, it's a bit much, it's a bit much, so grab your notepads. Now for the concealer, okay? So when it comes to concealer, I like to use like three different shades for my concealer because that's just what works for me. Maybe I'm being extra, but makeup is also about making yourself happy, so maybe if I put in my layers, I feel more beautiful. Um, I don't know, but um, I like to use three different shades one shade that like i said this is the same shade that i use underneath my eyebrows in the beginning so this is like I, I think three shades lighter than my skin tone this one is about four to five shades lighter and then this one is 
literally six shades lighter than my skin tone but this one is not really about um i didn't get this for it to be lighter i got this to add yellow i like to have like a yellow under eye because of my undertones yeah so we're gonna start off with this one and this one is what we're gonna use for mostly everywhere let me show you guys so we're gonna put this over our mouth right here on my nose tip on my mouth bridge and my chin and then now we're gonna do the three step method so underneath my eye here and it's important that you know how to conceal it's important that you okay and it's important that you know how to conceal your face like for your face shape i think i've mentioned this a couple of times on my channel i have a really round face so i'm not going to take my concealer all the way up to the side of my face because it's just going to make my face look wider i'm trying to make my face look as slim as possible so i'm going to keep the highlight centered And then I'm gonna take the next shade. Not too much, for real, like not too much. A little bit. This is in the shade Maple. It's already bright in itself, like it is way brighter. But I see a lot of American makeup artists do it this way, so that's where I picked it up from. And then lastly, the last shade, and this is the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 345. It's yellow, it's literally yellow. And I'm just gonna put it in the very corner. This is my concealer map. Take a very good look at it. I put the lighter shade, the darkest shade here. So it just goes from darkest to the middle shade to the lightest, all the way in my inner corners. And yeah, I'm about to blend it out. I'm just making sure to blend each color on their own. So I'm dealing with that color. And I'm trying to move the 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 um born this way concealer like up and mix it with the Fenty because I just want like closer to the inner of my eye because I just want like the closest part to my eye to be yellow but not way too much and the thing is when I put on the reason why I go so bright on my concealer is because when I put on my set setting powder it kind of just goes away blended out for the most part yep and I need my eyes to really 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 bright right after you conceal your face you want to just set your face right away so I'm taking the Laura Mercy a setting powder in the shade medium deep and I'm just gonna set underneath my eye right here but I'm setting with two different colors um, you can use the Laura Mercier medium deep for the lower part, but then more towards my inner corner and beside my nose, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade 50, no, not 50, in the shade Honey, sorry, it's 05. And we're just going to use that to set the inner, the closest part where we had the brighter concealer. I know I look a little bit silly, but I noticed that when I was setting my entire face with the same Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade medium deep, so this one, it was a bit too dark. Like my concealer is definitely lighter than this. Like my concealer is definitely just lighter than this shade in itself. So it was just a 
making my skin all look one color and that's not the goal it should have you know my highlight should be highlighting and my contour should be contouring so after that while that is setting i'm gonna go ahead and contour we're gonna be contouring i'm gonna be using a lot of fenty bar products from here on out because fenty is the only place where i trust anything contour bronze blush that's just where to go okay so i'm gonna be using the fenty beauty pro filter soft melt powder foundation in the shade 470 to contour my skin and I'm just gonna be taking a regular fluffy brush. Well, this is a contour brush, I'm pretty sure it is. And we're just gonna be contouring my face. I like to contour with powder rather than cream nowadays, but right away you can see what this did for me. So um, it's not even supposed to be a contour. Um, it's not made to be a contour, it's just like a foundation, but you can always just, it's a powder, I don't know. I should I use anything? If I want to use the contour from my eyeshadow, who's gonna beat me? But look at that. It's contouring. Right? It's a perfect shade for my contour. But try to play around with the colors because Fenty Beauty has an array of colors for you to pick from. Um, you can find your perfect contour shade there because like the contours that I were using were kind of making me look a little bit muddy And I like to look more warm like I like to look orange if you can't tell like mm. I don't want to look too it Just feels more bronzy like this is it feels like a bronzy like you see when you see the lighter color girls using bronzer I feel like our bronzer is more dark. It looks like 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 if I compare these two shades like I could still bronze, but it just makes me look dark. I don't know. Like I want to bronze, so this makes me feel like I'm bronzing. I still like it, but I like this a lot better to contour with. Before I was contouring with this shade. So yeah, we've done that. Now it's just time to bronze my nose with the smaller brush. Not bronze, but contour. Bronze and contour is ultimately the same thing. I'm not even gonna hold you. Yeah, that right there did it. But yeah. Just trying to make my nose look a little bit slimmer. Just a tiny bit, not too much. I love myself. But yeah. That is that. I love this shade. This I bought by mistake. It was supposed to be an actual foundation, and it just turned. It just looked so nice, like as a contour. And I f realized how dark it was. I'm like, let me try and see it as a thingy. But yeah, now that all of that is done, I feel like sometimes I'm a little bit harsh with the bronzer. So in the process, I'm probably gonna dust off my um, like what I'm baking or my setting powder. I just like to over everything with a fluffy brush you can put a little bit of powder like if you have a powdered foundation that is your shade this is still not my shade I was trying to get my shade but I ordered online so I should have probably got like 450 but I got the shade 430 in the same um, Fenty Beauty powder foundation like this is way too light for me but it still works in a way you see do you see it but yeah, this is just to bring everything a little bit more together. Huh. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. How are you feeling about it? I'm liking it so far. Now we can move on to blush. I've been using the same blush. I should probably throw this out in another one. I've been using this for years but this is the Revlon powder blush in the shade Berry Berry and then this one's the True Blend um ooh I'm going to America I'm about to buy a whole new makeup but this is the True Blend Soul Flush the True Blend Soul Flush um blush in the shade 345 Hot Friends I like to mix the two this is more of a daytime and then this one's more of a nighttime shade but I'm gonna be using this one to just 
start off and then see if I want to use the nighttime one. But yeah. So that's that. Um, now we can move on to just like finishing touches and everything. But the base of your makeup is basically done. Beauty mark right there. A beauty mark right here. This is Trendsetter by Morphe in their color pencil. It's more of a brown.